Who doesn't love a good all-star game? Ellie Daily Cruz and Hunter Green made their all-star debuts last night. We're talking Cincinnati's 2024 all-stars on today's Locked on Reds. You are Locked on Reds, your daily Cincinnati Reds podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. You are Locked On Reds, your daily source for all things Cincinnati Reds. I'm Stephen Offenbaker, and I have over six seasons of experience podcasting about these Cincinnati Reds. Look, I love baseball. I love the Cincinnati Reds, and I have taken my love of the game, my love for this Cincinnati Reds baseball team, and I've turned that into information for you. Locked On Reds is part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And on today's podcast, we are going to be talking about Ellie De La Cruz and Hunter Green making their all-star debuts. Uh, one did really, really well. The other one had a bit of a rough time. We're going to get into all of it. We're going to talk about what they did on the field, what they did in the first half, and what we can expect from them in the second half of the season. Before we get into any of that, today's episode is brought to you by Prize Picks, the easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Go to prizepicks.com slash locked on MLB and you'll use the promo code all lowercase now locked on MLB for a first deposit match of up to $100. And where I want to start today is talking about Ellie De La Awesome. Ellie De La Cruz made his all star game debut coming in and playing third base, uh, something that Jeff and I talked about on the live yesterday. Uh, what do you do with Ellie De La Cruz a little bit later in the season when Matt McClain's back? We talked about third base being a possibility, and there Ellie was playing third base in the All-Star game for the National League representing your Cincinnati Reds. Ellie did not disappoint. Now, the biggest surprise for me is that he didn't get a stolen base. He comes into the game, he plays third base, comes up for his at-bat, uh, gets a single, doesn't try to steal second, doesn't try to steal third, uh, just kind of waiting for the, the other guys on the team to move him up. So he did not get a steal, but he was one for two, uh, got a hit in his first at bat and his second at bat, uh, he hit a grounder to second base and ended up getting thrown out at first. So that was Ellie De La Cruz uh, making his all-star debut. The thing you have to be excited about with Ellie is that he's just going to continue to get better in the first half of the season for the Reds this year. Ellie De La Cruz leads position players in war. Now that's not to say that uh, there's other guys that may not catch up with him, but right now he has 3.4 war wins above replacement for the Reds in 2024. Now we've talked about two is a, a major leaguer. Three is going to be a starter. Four is an all-star. And when you get to five, six, now you're, you're, now you're cooking. Uh, you get to six in war, you're talking about a player that potentially could be an MVP candidate or at least be in the conversation for MVP. And Ellie De La Cruz has put together a really, really nice season uh, for the first half of the year or the pre all-star break portion of the year. His slash lines, 256, 346, 483. He has 17 home runs. He leads baseball with 46 steals. He has 43 RBIs of his 46 steals. Listen, he's only been caught nine times. And I know we get frustrated with how, you know, running and being aggressive on the base paths can cost you outs. And we've seen that from time to time. But by and large, Ellie's been smart with his deals. He's only been caught nine times. I think he's only going to continue to just get better and better. When you look at where he ranks, again, number one among position players with 3.4 war. The only red with more war is the other all-star uh, that was in the game from Cincinnati. That's Hunter Green. He has 3.7. The next closest position player to Ellie De La Cruz, 3.4 war, is Spencer Steele year at 1.9. So Ellie is doing big, big things. And there's really no reason to think that his production is going to go down. I know that there's been people that have just been waiting for the other shoe to drop. People that are almost rooting for Ellie to slump or Ellie to fail. Uh, I've had some, some really weird conversations with people online and in person about is Ellie De La Cruz really an all-star? Do we think Ellie De La Cruz deserves all the hype? Hey, listen, Ellie De La Cruz is going to be something special for a lot of years and major league baseball has put him front and center. I don't know if you saw it with some of the marketing they were showing around globe life stadium, but Ellie De La Cruz was front and center. He was right there with the other big boys of baseball uh, being used to, to advertise the game. So I think that 
Uh, this is awesome for Cincinnati. The Reds are going to get a lot of exposure out of this. It's going to bring, hopefully, a lot of fans to the team. Uh, I think Great American Ballpark is going to be crowded a lot more often than it has been in the past. Um, selfishly, that's a bummer because I like wandering around and that's not as easy to do when the ballpark's full, but boy, does it look good on TV and create a great energy when you're actually in the stadium. Uh, all of those extra fans being involved. But I think Ellie, he did a great job. He, he did a, a fantastic uh, representation of the Reds. He represented the city well. Uh, and Major League Baseball is going to continue to hype him up. I, I was a little surprised that he didn't try to steal. And I don't know if that was a directive, if he was told to not try and steal, to, to let the other guys bring him over, or if he just didn't feel like he could get a good jump. Uh, this I know, he's going to get a lot more opportunities in the future. He, this is not going to be his last All-Star game. We're going to see Ellie De La Cruz there. I would love to see him voted in as a starter next year. I think Cincinnati, uh, you know what we saw, the Phillies did a great job this year of really uh, – not stuffing the ballot box, but their fans turned out and voted. And with it being an online formula now, next season, when it's time to vote for All-Stars, Cincinnati, we have to make a concentrated effort to get some Reds into this game uh, as starters. I would love to see Ellie be a starter next season. Uh, when the time comes next year and the ballots are live, uh, we'll try to do a better job uh, here at Locked on Reds of reminding you to get out there and get those votes in. You can vote each and every day. Uh, at major league um, at ML, MLB.com. Uh, we're going to try and make that happen next year and get Ellie voted in as a starter. Uh, again, looking, looking for what type of production we can expect from him heading into the, the second half of this season. If he just continues to play that he's been playing, we're looking at like a 6.8 war heading towards seven for Ellie this year. Those are in fact, MVP numbers. He'll be in that conversation. I, I, I don't know that he'll win it this, this first full year of, of his electric play, but, He's going to be in the conversation. And, and if he continues to play this way with the players that are coming back for the Reds, uh, I think we can count on the Reds being in the hunt, being in at least a roundabout a possibility of being playing into that final all the final all star, the final playoff spot. Uh, you know, when Jeff is back, we're going to spend some time setting things up for the second half of the season and, and really trying to get you ready for what the second half of this season might look like. And it's going to be exciting times, folks. I can't wait until uh, we're, we're streaming towards the playoffs and the Reds are going to continue to be relevant. Uh, love what we saw from Ellie. Love the numbers that he's put up. Uh, I truly believe uh, he was deserving of the All-Star. I think he's been the best player of the first half, and I look forward to what he is going to bring in the second half. But he was not the only player representing the Reds out in Texas. Uh, of course, I'm going to talk about David Bell. No, I'm kidding. Coming up, we're going to break down Hunter Green's all-star debut uh, on the mound, representing the Cincinnati Reds for the National League. We'll have that coming up right after this. Get supplies from the site that's made for the skilled trade, supplyhouse.com. Supplyhouse.com is a reliable way to order plumbing, HVAC, and electrical products online. Their easy-to-use website is packed with helpful resources and the latest product info to help you get the job done right. Shop a complete inventory of over 200,000 parts from over 400 top brands and get your order delivered right to your door with fast shipping from coast to coast. Need help with an order? Get expert support from industry-leaning service from the friendliest folks in the business and talk to a real person each and every time you call. Pros in the skilled trades can get a competitive edge by joining SupplyHouse.com's free Trade Master program. Every trade master gets access to a dedicated phone line, free shipping, and discounts on every order. Join the thousands of trade pros already benefiting from their free membership at supplyhouse.com slash TM and order plumbing, HVAC, and electrical supplies from anywhere with just a few clicks at supplyhouse.com. Price Pick is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. With Price Picks, it's the most easiest and most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports because unlike other apps, with Price Picks, it's just you against the numbers. All you have to do is pick more or less on two to six player stat projections and watch the winnings roll in. So if you think that Ellie De La Cruz is going to steal some bases, make sure you click more. If you think Hunter Green is going to strike out a bunch of batters, I don't know, say the first six batters he faces in a game, then you're going to take more on the strikeouts. Because uh, right now with Price Picks, you can turn $10 into $1,000. You can win up to 100 times your money at Price Picks. And right now, for new players using the promo code LOCKEDONMLB, they're going to match your first deposit up to $100. That's right. 
Use the Prize Picks app today and use the promo code Locked On MLB to get a first deposit match of up to one hundred dollars. That's promo code Locked On MLB on Prize Picks for a deposit match of up to one hundred dollars. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. You have got to check out Locked On Sports today. It's a free 24-7 streaming sports channel program for you every day to bring you the biggest stories in sports. Locked On Sports today brings you can't-miss analysis, opinions, and news from both our national host as well as local experts like Jeff and I. It streams 24-7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channels app, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. All right. Elie De La Cruz was not the only all-star representing the Cincinnati Reds out in Texas. Of course, Hunter Green was out there as well. He made his debut for your Cincinnati Reds, representing the Reds for the National League, and it really didn't go according to plan. Uh, Hunter got hit hard, and there's no other way to really talk about that. Corey Seager gave a ball a ride that went 409 feet, and you're talking about you know probably – I didn't look it up, but almost all the other ballparks, that's a home run. Uh, the thing in Texas is the outfield in center goes to 410 feet. So uh, that one was a very long, loud out. And you you started to think there, all right, Hunter got it out of his system. Uh, he's going to, to bounce back. We're going to get out of this inning. Uh, but that is not the case. Uh, following a, a single with a runner on, Duran goes deep and he gives up two runs. And that ultimately proved to be the difference in the game. Now, look, I don't fault Hunter for having a bad performance. He was facing baseball's best and doing it in a situation that he's not accustomed to playing in. And I know everybody was doing that, but you know, Hunter's a young guy still figuring it out. You know, it was a pretty big moment uh, and it took him out of his comfort zone. I'm okay. It's an exhibition game. I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to dig in. Oh, does this mean Hunter's going to be bad? Oh, is Hunter going to have problems? No, I don't think it means anything at all. I think that as far as Hunter Green goes, he's going to pick up right where he left off in the second half of this season. I'm not worried about him. Not one little bit. In the All-Star game for the National League, Hunter Green, as I try and find his stats for you guys, uh, it was not pretty. Uh, he did get the loss in this game. He allowed two hits, uh, two runs on two hits. Both earns run, and he gave up the big, big home run. Uh, Hunter's going to be just fine. I don't think that, uh, you know, it wasn't that he was, <laughs> he just was hanging balls out over the middle of the plate. He threw 18 pitches. 15 of them were for strikes. And uh, ultimately, it just didn't go well for Hunter Green. I, I, I'm, I'm happy that he got this experience. Hunter Green's going to be in more all-star games. Hunter Green's the ace of this staff now, um, without question for me. I, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that, that he is the ace of the rotation. He's the ace of the staff. Uh, as I mentioned there in the Ellie De La Cruz segment, he has 3.7 wins above replacement this year. Four wins above replacement is all-star level wins above replacement in a season. Hunter will get that in his next start or two. And then we're drifting into Cy Young conversations, right? Uh, if he continues to pitch the rest of the season, like he pitched the front part of this season, uh, he's going to finish somewhere around five to six in war and he'll be in the conversation for Cy Young. I, I, again, very hard for guys in Cincinnati to win these types of awards. Um, when you're dealing with big, big market teams and big market players to compete against. But I do believe that both Ellie De La Cruz being in the conversation for the MVP is a possibility. And I think that Hunter Green being in the conversation for Cy Young is also within the realm of possibility. Um, Hunter's going to have to continue to deliver, mind you, but uh, his stats at the, the first part of this year, the, the pre all-star break stats, you know, remembering that he, kind of struggled a little bit there the first few times out uh, in April to begin the season. But right now he sits with a 3.34 ERA. His ERA plus is 130, so 30% better than league average. He's thrown 110 innings thus far. Uh, he's going to surpass his major league uh, career high, right? Uh, he threw 125 and two thirds innings his first year up in 2022. He's going to blow past that barring any kind of setbacks or injuries. Uh, he has a strikeouts per nine right now of 10.3 strikeouts per nine innings right now. He's walking 3.7, which is still a little high for where I like it pitchers to be. I would love to see him get that below three. Uh, and I think that he can do that if he continues to improve as he has been building upon each start of the season. Uh, I look for him to get that number down. He's just so good. 
Uh, and he's going to continue to be so good. You know, wins and losses these days. I don't even really want to like track that anymore, but he is six and four. Um, you know, so project that out to, you know, 12 and eight possibly on the year. He's not going to get the same number of starts. He's at 19 starts right now. I think he'll finish somewhere around a cool 30 starts. We'll see how he does. Uh, but he's definitely going to throw more innings this year than he's ever thrown in his big league career. Uh, he's going to break his own personal bests and strikeouts. He's going to break his own personal best in innings pitched. Uh, I look forward to see what Hunter does the rest of the way because a big part of how the Reds go is how Hunter goes. And I think that he's going to continue to lead this team. He's going to keep them relevant. This rotation heading into the second half of the season with Green Lodolo and Abbott, uh, there, there's something something special. That is, a, that is a big three. And, you know, hopefully Nick Lodolo adjusts his grip and is able to overcome the blister problems that he's had in his last few starts. Uh, I think he will. You know, I'm sure that they've been working on that uh, while they've got this little bit of a break. Reds pick up action again on Friday, and we get right back at it. The Reds are going to have to hit the ground running. Jeff and I talked about this on the live show yesterday. Uh, these two guys, Hunter Green, Ellie De La Cruz, those are going to be the guys that you need to continue to just deliver and churn forward and and hope that they bring the other guys along with them. Uh, I saw there in the Miami series before the All-Star break that guys were starting to feed off of each other, especially the hitters. And, you know, one guy did something and the next man up wanted to do that thing only better. And that's the first time we've really seen this this year. Uh, up until this point, there's only ever been one guy that was hot, one guy that was doing something. And, and it worked to the Reds advantage sometimes, and they just had the right guys in the right places at the right times, and they scored runs. But I would like to see that to continue. I would like to see these guys to continue to feed off of each other. I think we can. I think that as Hunter Green goes out as successful, Nicodolo is going to want to be successful. And then Abbott's going to want to be successful. Uh, we're going to see the same thing with the hitters. As Ellie is successful, we're hopefully going to see Reese Hines continue to thrive. We're going to see uh, guys coming back from injury. TJ Friedel should be back in just a couple weeks. Uh, no updates yet on Stuart Fairchild, but Jake Fraley is back with the team. And hopefully, uh, you know, he started to, to hit the ball a little bit harder. Uh, his power has been very much missed. Uh, would like to see that return here in the second half. But by and large, there's a lot to be excited about with this Cincinnati Reds team. A lot of things to look forward to. A lot of things for us to, to continue to keep an eye on. We're going to do that. We're going to... Um, Try and keep you, as we say, locked on Reds every single day uh, as this second half develops. Uh, here this week, before we get to Friday, I think the plan for the show, guys, is Jeff's going to be with you tomorrow and kind of set the table for the second half a little bit. And then we're going to do a live on Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern time to, to get things really set for uh, gameplay to start back up and to talk about where the Reds need to go from here. So we got a lot of good stuff coming for you in the coming week. So make sure you have click subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you'd hit that like button down below, uh, make sure you click subscribe, the notification bell. Uh, if you don't get to watch us on YouTube all the time and you want to take us with you to the gym or on your commute in the car, uh, we're in your audio feeds as well. Just uh, jump to your favorite podcasting app. We will be there. Click subscribe there and you can take us in the car. You can take us to the gym, take us on your walk around the neighborhood. We would love to talk baseball with you in all those places all right i sent a tweet during the all-star game that it may sound a little old man yelling at clouds but major league baseball has got to fix this uniform problem and coming up i want to talk about exactly what i would like for that to look like we're going to talk about uniforms and the all-star game coming up next Passion, drive, and patience. The formula for a winning championship is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and so much more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay's guaranteed fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or you're going to get your money back because with ebay motors you're burning rubber not cash with all the parts you need at the prices you want it's easy to make your car the mvp and bring home huge wins keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply ebay guaranteed fit is available only to u.s customers Hometown broadcast. You can catch every pitch of the Reds' hometown broadcast with SiriusXM. Just download the SXM app and search the word Reds. Also, 
bookmark Cincinnati Reds talk.com for written content about your Cincinnati Reds. All right. I sent this tweet during the game talking about how much I disliked these uniforms. Many, many, many of you, in fact, I think only one person spoke up and defended these uniforms. Many, many of you agreed with me that they're horrible. Uh, I think they're terrible. I want them gone. I want baseball to go back to the old days where they would have the players wear the uniform of the team they were representing uh, sometimes with a special hat sometimes just their regular uniform uh, baseball needs to go back to that the the monstrosities that were on the field for both the american league and the national league in this all-star game they were absolutely horrid I, I just i can't begin to describe how bad i felt that they were i know there were many out there i saw mo egger tweeting during the game talking about how bad they were uh, they need to go back to the the wearing the Home uniform and the road uniform. So in American League City, you'd be home in white, uh, road in gray. National League would wear gray. American League would wear their whites. Um, I would even get behind, and I saw this suggested. I don't remember who posted it on X, but someone suggested letting all the teams wear their City Connects for the All-Star game. And that would be cool. The The red City Connect, for those YouTubers, uh, you know, I'm wearing it right now. And audio guys, I have my City Connect jersey on. Uh, I would get totally behind them doing an all-star game with all the teams wearing their city connects. Baseball has pushed these city connect uniforms hard. Let's showcase them uh, at the midsummer classic. I'm fine with that. Uh, Rob Manfred has heard the noise. Rob Manfred has heard the fans clamoring about how bad these all-star uniforms are. He said he is aware of the sentiment and that there will be conversations about going back to the teams wearing the regular uniforms. Um, I hope that that's true. I hope Major League Baseball fixes this. It's a very easy fix. Um, Doug Gray answered back from that post. Uh, I saw this on X. Uh, Doug Gray over at RedsMinorLeagues.com saying, Major League Baseball makes money off the uniforms, and if they can't make money off of the players wearing their regular uniforms, they're not going to do it. I, I don't wholeheartedly disagree, but I think if Major League Baseball, I can't imagine they're selling a lot of these monstrosity jerseys. They're, these uniforms are horrible. So if Major League Baseball lets teams wear their own uniforms and puts a special hat out, I think people will buy the hats. They'll make some money off of that. They just they cannot be making a lot of money off of all-star game jersey sales for uniforms that are absolutely hideous. I, I mean, I, sometimes I wonder, you know, who sits around in a room and designs these uniforms and says, look what I've come up with. And nobody had the courage to say, those are the ugliest things I've ever seen. Nobody had the courage to say, we can definitely do better than this. I, I just don't understand how some of these things make it to the public. Uh, we've said that before with some of the hats that have come out. Um, these uniforms were bad. And, and I think this is a very small thing that Major League Baseball can do to make the fans happy and appease the fan sentiment because I definitely do not want to ever see uh, these all American and National League uniforms again. They're just It's terrible. Uh, they're trying way too hard. Uh, there has to be a better way, and, and I, I think they'll come up with something. I, I really think next season everybody will wear their own uniforms with a special hat. Uh, that seems to be the safest, simplest way to go about this. While we're talking about uniforms, uh, some of you guys have been in the chats the last few episodes talking about wanting the Reds to get new uniforms and go back to a, a red pinstripe. Now, one of my favorite uniforms is the 1967 home jersey. Uh, the Reds wore it during the 150th anniversary celebration uh, where they were wearing all the different uniforms. I have one that I wear from time to time. I love that uniform. I would love for the Reds to go back to that and then eliminate the drop shadow off of the hat. I think that would be a perfect uniform overhaul. Uh, I would love to see the Reds do that. It, I think they're well overdue for a uniform redesign to something new for the regular wear to go along with what I think is one of the best City Connect jerseys in baseball that they have going right now. Um, I've come around on wearing the hat some. I didn't like it at first, but I picked one up on that with my last trip back to Cincinnati. I would love to see the Reds overhaul their uniforms, but I want to hear from you. So get into the comment section of this episode. Tell me what you think about Ellie De La Cruz's all-star debut. Tell me if you're bothered or if you're worried, rather. I probably were, everyone was bothered by how Hunter did, but are you worried about what's going to happen with Hunter in the second half based on what you just saw? Um, I'm not, but I would love to hear from you. And get in the comment section and tell me what you would like to see as far as the uniforms go. If you would like for the Reds to change things up, keep them the way they are, what specific things would you like to see in a new uniform? I want to hear you talking about that. Now make sure you tell all your friends about the show. Help share us. We want more everydayers. We want to talk baseball with as many people as possible. Uh, all right, guys. 
This is an abbreviated episode. We're just talking a little bit about the All-Star Game and Ellie and Hunter. Uh, it was a great time watching the All-Star Game. I love a good All-Star Game. Uh, I don't know who doesn't. Uh, baseball does All-Star Games the best. It's uh, Maybe hockey comes a close second, but uh, Major League Baseball, hands down, is the best All-Star Game out there. That's going to do it for this edition of Locked on Reds. We'll be back in your feed tomorrow. Jeff is going to be driving the ship. He's going to get you set for the second half. And then again on Friday, we're going to have a live episode that goes at 3 p.m. Eastern. So make sure you have clicked subscribe. Make sure you have clicked that notification bell so that you don't miss it when we go live. You don't miss it when we do something special. When there's breaking news, we will definitely jump into your feeds. And we will keep you Locked on Reds every single day.